James here from GoodGuitarist.com, and in this video, we're going to play a typical chord progression in the key of D. And all that means is that out of all the chords in this key, D feels the most at home. It's the key. So everything kind of leads back to it. If you're following along with our ebook, which is free to all our subscribers, you can find more information on that down below. Um, You've already learned and memorized some chord shapes. You've practiced switching between two chords at a time back and forth, and you've practiced some strumming patterns. Well, now is the really fun part. We get to put that all together and turn it into a chord progression, and that'll get us ready to play a complete song. So let's just get to work. We'll start out by going over the chords in order, just to warm up a bit and make sure your fingers are comfortable switching between those specific chord voicings. First, we'll play D. Now, switch to G. Now, switch back to D. And finally, we'll switch to A. We'll do it one more time. D. G. D. A. Now we'll play along to a simple beat. We'll play four downstrokes on each chord. One, two, three, four. Each hand has a specific role when playing a chord progression. Ideally, your left hand makes the chord shapes right on the beat, while your right hand plays a strumming pattern along with the beat, maintaining a steady, consistent rhythm. It can be tough focusing on both of those at the same time, especially when you're first starting to play. Most people have a tendency to, with their chord switching hand, try to get every chord shape perfect, and while they're doing that, their strumming arm has to pause while it waits for the chord shape. The strumming hand should be keeping a steady rhythm, but it has to wait for the chord switching hand to catch up. Stopping and starting and stopping and starting. It doesn't make for a very musical experience. So now let's see what happens when we do the opposite. And instead of getting the chord shapes perfect with the left hand, we're just going to grab them when we can, but we're going to focus on keeping a steady rhythm with the strumming arm. The chords aren't changing right on the beat. They're behind, but it still sounds okay. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than pausing and waiting for the left hand to finish making the chord shape. Now that we're comfortable with the shapes used in this progression, let's add a strumming pattern. All the strumming patterns used in this video series can be found in our ebook, and there's links down below for that. This one goes down, up, 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 up. And here we go. One, two, three, four.
you can play through a chord progression with a strumming pattern, like you just did, then you can play through a whole song. Someone once said, and I'm paraphrasing here, that some of the most famous songs are just three or four chords, and that's completely true. So if you learn a bunch of chord progressions, the best thing to do is to try to find some songs that you can use those on. That's the quickest way to learn the songs that you want to play. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on goodguitarist.com and visit us on social media. We'll see you next time.